Hi everyone, now I'm with Sarah Jane Grattan. Uh, it's re really pleased to have her on Think It TV in the, in the red, red corner today. Absolutely. <laughs> now, Sarah Jane, you're, you're quite prolific in the, in the world of social media and the media, and I'd love to hear some of your background, so you can give us a little bit of a flavour. I will, I will. Um, well, my background, um, I started off um, at stage school. I went to stage school when I was six years old. Um, and sort of combine traditional studying with um, dramatic arts, ballet, tap, the works. My parents were very, very keen on having a little ballerina for a daughter. Um, <laughs> so am I. Uh, <laughs> thanks, guys. You made it. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, so we were both pirouetting through our youth. Mm -hmm. um, I was never really a great ballerina, but I did love uh, drama. Um, and I love words, yeah. and um, I discovered quite early on that I actually loved writing. Um, would actually put together my own little theatre productions. So your, um, your writing group. became uh, performance. Actually, became that kind of extension of it did. yourself and how you portrayed it. It did. It, it, it sort of evolved really um, through my childhood into short story writing. Um, won a national competition for um, for children in short story writing when I was nine. Um, and then I was performing on a semi-professional level in the theatre from the age of 11, um, but really felt more drawn to being behind the scenes with the words, mm. putting it all together. Um, and the psychology really of theatre, that really interested me, and I think that's where my love of social media mm. comes from as well. Yeah, I was just going to ask, so now that translates into, into social media and actually how you engage with your audience, yeah. they are an audience, right? Exactly, it's, it's to me, um, your social media platforms are your stage mm. to really perform brand you. So you have your own brand, your own personality, um, you go onto your platforms and you, you perform. Um, people, people don't want to know particularly that you had brown instead of white toast for breakfast. Um, but if you make a thing, and people love to hear what coffee I'm having today because I'm a fanatic about coffee. Mm. Sometimes I'll have one shot, sometimes I'll have two, and this sounds, probably sounds very dull. But actually, I have a group of followers that get really upset if I don't mention <laughs> how many shots I had in my coffee cup that morning. So it really yeah. is it's about <laughs> not being mundane, but being about what's true to yourself. And, Absolutely. And that's all about personality. Right? It's about being keeping it real. You know, keeping keep, it real. Keeping it real for your social audience. I think that's... Uh, one of the best tips I can suggest <laughs> to anybody starting out. That's great. And we're going to hear, we're going to get some more tips from you. Great, great insight and information Absolutely. to help people out there if, if they're struggling to find their, their own audience and how to make an impact. So great. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much for joining us. Oh, you're more than welcome. It's great to be part of the Finkit team. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you.